Last time around, we looked at the very best tech from charging leaders Anchor. But today we'll be focusing on their smart home division Eufy, and more specifically, their brand new robot vacuum cleaners. These are the new X8 and X8 Hybrid RoboVacs, Eufy's newest and best robotic vacuum cleaners, and we're going to be breaking down all the specs and features in this video to see just how good they are. We'll start off with the unboxing so you can see what you get in the box, but also to show you how nicely these are both presented. Eufy are out here treating Robovax to luxury packaging. So you first get the paperwork, including the quick start guide and the owner's manual. You then have the Robovac itself, and underneath are the accessories. These include a spare side brush and cable ties, the power adapter and the charging base, an additional dust filter, and then for the X8 hybrid model, you also get the mop attachment, a waterproof pad, a microfiber reusable mop pad, and some disposable pads as well. The Robovacs themselves will seem familiar to owners of previous Eufy models. We have that traditional round shape with the glossy surface housing the control buttons, the auto clean start button, the recharge button for sending the device back home, and finally the spot cleaning button for intensely cleaning a specific area. You'll also notice the blue and pink accents for the design on the X8, and the gold accents on the hybrid, so there is a slight difference in the design. The charging base has been well designed too. It has a minimal, unassuming design that will sit discreetly against a wall in your home, and there's a neat cable management system for keeping everything tidy. The Robovacs have a bumper at the front, along with the infrared and wall sensors, ventilation holes at the sides, the dust collector release button at the rear, and the laser distance sensor on top. Underneath you'll find the drop sensors, the charging contact pins, the side and rolling brushes, and the wheels for navigation. The only difference between the X8 and the X8 Hybrid is the latter's mop functionality. They otherwise have exactly the same features, suction power, battery life, and smart technology. But because of the water tank attachment on the Hybrid, it does have a slightly smaller dust collector capacity, so that might be something to consider too. The setup process is extremely easy. You stick down the charging base, place the RoboVac on top, and then you can let the Eufy Home app guide you through the rest. Once you've signed in, you'll be given a tour of the app which I'll show fully later, but it's essentially just a case of letting the Robovac automatically map its environment before returning home to the charging base to recharge. You can then easily remove the dust collector, empty out the compartment, using the included tool for brushing out the filter or cutting stubborn hairs from the rolling brush, and then the dust collector snaps back into the Robovac once you're done. The water tank is equally as simple to remove from the X8 Hybrid, and you can easily swap out either the reusable or disposable mop pads. If you want to use the mop feature, simply fill the tank, install the mop pad, and then snap the tank back into the Robovac, which will automatically switch to mop mode once it detects the tank is installed. So far, this will all seem fairly familiar to previous Robovac owners, but the X8 series brings some key new features that make them the best Robovacs yet. Perhaps the most important is that they introduced the world's first twin turbine technology, with each delivering a suction power of 2000 pascals. This provides an 80% increase in airflow over previous models. It's a USP over both other Eufy models and the rest of the competition, and I've been extremely impressed with just how much dust and debris these Robovacs are able to collect. These are ideal for pet owners. You all know who Lily is, and yeah, she's cute, but my word does she cover my home in dog hair. But the Robovacs have done a fantastic job of keeping up with her, and the suction power offered here is excellent. Suffice to say, these Robovacs really suck, just for all the right reasons. The dust collector utilization rate has also increased by 127% versus the Robovac 30C, which is thanks to the new Ultra Pack dust compressor tech. So it holds even more dust, which means fewer trips to empty it for you. Another upgrade is to Eufy's AI map technology, which now means the Robovacs have multi floor mapping capability. The X8 and X8 Hybrid can scan and save maps of multiple floors, so you can buy just one Robovac to cover your entire home without overwriting the previous map each time, and this is a key advantage over Eufy's other iPath laser Robovac, the L70. The X8 Robovacs will automatically recognize their environment and then proceed to clean with the corresponding map, remembering all of the rooms and settings you saved before, or it will generate a new map if it's a new area. You don't even need to move the base station between floors, you can just place the Robovac where you want it to clean, and it will scan to recognize the surroundings. Or you can simply buy a second charging base and swap the Robovac between bases as you please. Further improvements to the map technology now allow you to select specific rooms to clean, or to tap anywhere on the map to send the Robovac to a specific location for cleaning. 
So essentially, these are the smartest Robovacs we've seen so far. The laser distance sensor is a fantastic feature, quickly and accurately mapping out your home in real time. Using AI, this allows the Robovax to intelligently plan an efficient route through your home, without the need to keep bumping into the walls, as is the usual navigation method of cheaper, less capable robot vacuum cleaners. If you ever decide to move the charging base, you don't need to remap your home from scratch. The Robovac will simply scan its environment and then automatically update the map with the new charging base position before carrying on as normal. It's pretty clever. The laser also makes it easier for the Robovacs to quickly adapt to changes in the environment and then continue with normal navigation, so there's far less chance of a disruption to the usual navigation path confusing the Robovac, even in low light. I just found myself far less concerned with clearing a path for the Robovac. I didn't need to make sure my furniture was in the exact same position as before. The Robovacs are adaptive and work around you, and they're much more self-sufficient than a lot of the more needy cleaners I've seen before. The laser sensor does make the overall height taller, so it won't be getting underneath furniture as easily as some of the older Eufy models. But they're still able to maneuver into and clean tricky areas. For example, I was impressed that it swept the individual spaces in my banister. So the laser navigation has been a huge asset. It makes the Robovac smart and efficient, and it separates them from the entry-level models. The Eufy app is the best way to show you what these Robovacs can do, and in my opinion is one of the best reasons to buy a Eufy Robovac because the entire interface has been designed in a really intuitive and user-friendly way. It looks great in either light or dark modes, you can change the layout to give you quick access to cleaning controls, and with the widget, you don't even need to open the Eufy app. You can start a clean right from the widget, even if you have more than one Robovac to control. With multiple Eufy Robovacs, the app makes it easy to view, switch between, and control them. So after selecting one, you're brought to the main screen. Here you'll see the map generated by the Robovac, which you can zoom into and rotate so it makes sense to you. And this map of course will constantly be improved and tweaked with successive cleans to account for new objects in your home, areas it previously missed, or if you reposition the charging base. The last clean is shown with the route the Robovac took, and you can see at the top the total distance covered, the cleaning duration, and the battery or charging status. You'll see that the map, even after the very first clean here, is showing individual rooms. The Robovac again uses AI to determine these, and has done a pretty good job of dividing these rooms accurately. Of course, it won't necessarily get this right first time, and you may wish to make your own corrections and adjustments yourself. So you're able to divide rooms by drawing lines on the map, merge two rooms together, and rename them to whatever you like. You can also create no-go zones for the Robovac, and add in virtual boundaries to stop the Robovac from entering an area you don't want cleaned, so you don't need to physically block off the path of the Robovac like most robot cleaners. Eufy does also supply physical boundaries in the form of strips you lay down on the ground, and you may want to consider using these if you're not confident placing virtual boundaries on the map. But so far, I've had absolutely no issues with the virtual boundaries and no-go zones. The Robovacs have kept to the allowed areas perfectly, and I've never had to worry about placing physical blocks down. This is also true of using the Robovacs upstairs. The drop sensors have automatically detected the top of the stairs every time the Robovac approaches, and I'm completely confident it won't fall. I know it can make some people nervous, as their expensive new toy charges towards its impending doom, but with how reliable these Robovacs have been, I personally don't bother with virtual or physical boundaries. With the X8 Hybrid, you'll also notice this option for a no-mop zone, which you can draw onto the map just like the no-go zones. So this is an area where the Robovac is still allowed to go, unless you have the water tank attached and the Robovac is in mop mode. This means you don't need to change the no-go zone every time you want to mop. The Robovac will automatically switch between the no-go areas, depending on whether it's in mop or vacuum-only mode. Eufy recommends you don't mop when no one is home, but so far, the hybrid has stuck so consistently to the designated areas that I'd personally feel comfortable leaving it unattended. The bottom portion of the app is for the main cleaning controls, so here you can set the suction power, ranging from low to max, but you can also engage Boost IQ, which automatically adjusts the suction power based on the floor type. This actually works surprisingly well, and using it in my bathroom with a vinyl floor, you can even hear the suction power increase as it passes over my thick bath mat. There's also a recharge button to send the Robovac back to its base directly from the app, and finally the center button will start a new clean. Now for a clean you have four options. Auto, where the Robovac will automatically clean all non-no-go areas, Room mode, which as it sounds will let you select specific rooms to clean, and in fact the Robovac will even clean them in the order you select. 
Zone mode will let you clean specific areas outside of the boundaries determined by rooms. For example, you may wish to clean certain parts of a room as opposed to the whole thing. And finally, you have Spot Clean, where the Robovac will intensely clean a selected 1.5m squared area. For example, if you decided to brush your dog indoors without having considered the consequences. So as you can see, the interface is really simple, and it makes it easy to start the clean that you need. But in the settings page, you'll find some more customizations like renaming your Robovac and other features too. First of all, to toggle on the multi-floor map feature, where you can also view and rename them. You then have schedules, where you can set the time, days of the week, and the suction power for automated cleans. You can set multiple schedules at once, and even select the clean mode by specific rooms. Though sadly, you need to disable the multi-floor map feature for this, which is a shame. You then have Tap and Go, where you can send the Robovac to a specific place in your home, or alternatively, you can take full manual control over the Robovac, steering it with your smartphone wherever you like. You can also see here a full history of previous cleans, with the map, cleaning area, and all of the usual info saved. Next up is Share Settings, where you can share your Robovac and all of its map data and settings with a friend, letting them control the Robovac without needing to set it up as new, so that's pretty handy. You've then got Auto Return Cleaning, where if the battery gets too low mid-clean, the Robovac will take itself back home to recharge, remembering where it was, so it can later return to that same spot to continue the clean. I always leave this turned on, but because the battery life has been so good, and the Robovacs have always been able to complete a full clean, I actually had to manually force the Robovax to clean without charging, just so I could test out this feature. You may wish to pair this feature up with Do Not Disturb mode, where during selected hours the Robovac will not auto-return to cleaning. For example if it's late at night, and you don't want to suddenly be awoken as your Robovac continues its clean. You can also change the voice settings with a handful of languages, and adjust the volume on the voice prompts, which you may find after a while you no longer need to hear. You then have unit settings, in case you want to be wrong and change this to square feet as opposed to meters, and you also have a Find My Robot feature, just in case you live in a house big enough to actually manage to lose one of these things. Now at the bottom you'll see some typical settings like the activity log, help and feedback, and the firmware update option. But this accessory services setting is a really nice feature. It gives you a breakdown of how much your Robovax parts have been used, suggesting a recommended replacement time so you can keep track of their usage. You can tap on each of them to see a guide on how to clean or replace each part, and there's even a link built in here for the store if you ever need to buy replacement parts. There's no way I'd remember myself to keep track of this, so it's really useful that the app does this for you. The Eufy app is packed full of features and has been very well designed, which really enhances how enjoyable and convenient these Robovax are to use. After all, they're literally designed to make your life easier. It's easy to start a clean on the Robovac itself, with your phone, or even to completely automate them with schedules. The X8 series works with the Google Assistant and Alexa too, so you can ask your smart devices to start a clean, or perhaps include the Robovacs with your pre-existing smart home routines. The only difficulty for you will be emptying the dust collector bin, and this is one of the limitations of the Robovacs. There are other robot vacuums out there which have a larger bin at their charging base which the robots empty themselves into meaning they can complete more cleans without needing any input from you. There is a drawback to this in that the charging bases are much more of an eyesore compared to the X8's charging base. But for those who want to clean very frequently, or who have a more lazy disposition, this is an added convenience you won't find here. I should also point out the limitations of the hybrid model's mop feature. Now my hard floors do look cleaner after finishing a mop run, and you can even see proof of this on the mop pad, so it definitely helps. But dragging a damp microfiber cloth over your floor can only do so much. It won't be able to tackle sticky residues or deep stains, though I recognise that that's more of a comment on the limitations of robot mops right now. The technology just doesn't exist yet for them to mop anywhere near as effectively as a human could. Still, it's nice to have the option of automated mopping in your home, and I like the way the X8 Hybrid automatically switches between mop or vacuum only modes. Otherwise, I've been really impressed with the performance of these Robovacs. The vacuum inside of things has been fantastic, and this new twin turbine system seems like a really nice upgrade. Battery life has been excellent too, and even on the maximum suction power, these covered over 50 meters squared or over 40 minutes of vacuuming, with still over half of the battery life remaining. The Robovacs pick up a surprising amount of dust even on the lowest power setting though, which isn't always true of vacuum cleaners, and the operating noise level is very low here too, so they cause minimal disturbance when you're at home but I remain most impressed with the smart navigation system, 
not just with the efficient route planning, but with how self-sufficient the Robovacs are when navigating my home. They're able to get themselves out of tricky spots, step up small ledges, and they aren't tripped up by environmental changes that I've seen disorientate other robot cleaners. You may have experienced this yourself, where with even one small change to your home's layout, your robot vacuum just panics and sits there until you manually assist them or they're forced to return to the charging base. But the X8 series react really well to even much larger obstacles and changes thanks to the real-time mapping of the laser distance sensor. And of course the multi-floor map system allows them to be so much more versatile. They've stuck to my schedules and the selected room zones and boundaries every single time, so they're pretty reliable and I can leave them unattended with confidence. The X8 is selling at 599 and the hybrid model at 649, so these sit firmly in that mid-range price category, though I have seen significant discounts are available if you purchase one early. This is a step up in price for Eufy, but I think premium features like the laser distance sensor make these a worthwhile upgrade over budget options and over previous Eufy models. The multi-floor mapping tech means that either of these Robovacs alone can do the job that may have needed two or more robot cleaners to do previously, so that's where a lot of the value lies. The price point still sits well below the silly $1,000 plus prices of some of the competitors, and I think when you consider the overall value on offer here, the X8 series is well worth your consideration. That's it for this video, but do leave any questions you have on the X8 or X8 Hybrid down in the comment section. Give the video a like if you found it helpful, and make sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on so you're always up to date with everything on the channel. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.